Yeah, I think one of the biggest lessons that we've learned is perception is a powerful thing, right? And what we're trying to do is different than what people are used to doing. And as I mentioned, people perceive real estate in a certain way, right? This is my office, I need this location, I need this much square footage, I need exposed brick, it's, I want it decorated this way, I don't want, it, I just don't want anyone else in my business, right? We refer to it as, as stranger danger. Right? We're conditioned to think that we don't want to work with strangers or we don't want to be in a stranger's office. And this is all because it's been hammered into our heads by attorneys and people that manage the investments for real estate owners. It really has nothing to do with how you grow your business. Right? When you're starting out and you're trying to grow your business, what matters more is culture, flexibility, and the right place to help you figure out if you even need a business. Not square footage, location, exposed brick, exposed brick and address. Right? And when, you're, when you are taking space, what you want is good culture. You want an environment that works for your company, right? You want, when your employees come in, you don't want them to be looking at these big expanses of empty space that are depressing, right? You want them to see a culture that's active, that's energetic, that works with the way they work. So getting, getting people to overcome the perception of this is how real estate works and this is how I think about my office is really the biggest challenge of learning that we've had. Because once we can have a conversation with someone and someone tries out what we do and they realize how it can work, their mind completely changes. They're like, oh my God, I get it. This is perfect. This is just what we need. But to get people to that stage is a real challenge. And that, quite honestly, was the biggest learning we've had is that perception is a huge barrier. And you really have to go at managing that perception the right way. Yeah, we, we address it a lot of ways. Um, a lot of content, so we write a lot, we blog a lot about it, and we get that distributed via Twitter and Facebook, and once people read it, it starts to sink in. We do a lot of interviews with companies that are already using our space, and we tell their stories, so success stories. Hey, this is how it worked for us, and more and more people get to understand that. We work aggressively through the startup network, because the startup entrepreneurs, they get it in a second. Right? If you've gone through an accelerator, you're used to sharing space with other companies. You know how amazing that is. You know how awesome it is to be able to walk two desks over and ask a developer that doesn't work for you, hey, how have you guys dealt with this and get answers immediately? You understand how powerful it is to walk into a, into a space that's filled with energy and different companies and people trying to accomplish different things. And you get how powerful sharing that space is. So starting there and starting with startups and entrepreneurs and kind of moving out from there has really been our key strategy and it's proving pretty well. And now it's getting to the point where the traditional commercial real estate industry is actually starting to come to us.